Two men are hospitalized with serious injuries after what police say was a drive-by shooting in Durham. And neighbors who witnessed the violence are concerned for their family. CBS North Carolina reporter Beershell Edme has been working to uncover new information overnight and is live at the Durham Police Station this morning. Good morning, Beershell. Good morning, Ross. Well, I just spoke to Durham police in the last half hour, and they say they're still working to learn details here, but they can confirm that the shooting took place just around nine outside of the Oxford Manor apartment. They say two men and a woman are now facing life-threatening injuries. As well, police tell us they are now trying to learn the motive and who the suspect or suspects may be. Meanwhile, neighbors we spoke to say they no longer feel safe in their own homes because shootings are becoming a norm in their neighborhood. One says she heard the shots ring out and didn't run for cover. That's because her young son was outside playing and she ran to see if he was okay. She tells us it's a shame that her child can't play without the threat of being grazed by a bullet. Since the second time our house has been taped in the, like the past three weeks, we have been having to use our back door because of shootings. So what? what is and both of them been during the day. They be during the daytime, and it's crazy. Yeah, they don't. It's crazy. Kids can't play nowhere. Sasha Scott says she walked out to find a longtime friend gasping for air after being shot and her son just standing by because she says he's too young to know to duck for cover when he hears a shooting. And unfortunately, mom tells us she may have to teach him that because of the frequency of these shootings in her neighborhood. Now, police say they are still working to gather details, and when we learn them, we'll bring them to you. Reporting live at the Durham Police Department, Beershall Edmay, CBS, North Carolina.